Baltimore and Baltimore Muse are super rare and elite rarity respectively heavy cruisers from the Eagle Union and are the name and lead ships of the Baltimore class of heavy cruisers. Both are available from heavy construction at a timer of two hours with Baltimore being originally available from the Ashen Simulacrum event while Baltimore Muse was originally available from the Universe and Union event. Baltimore was launched from the Four River Shipyard on the 28th of July, 1942, commissioned on the 15th of April, 1943, decommissioned on the 8th of July, 1946, recommissioned on the 28th of November, 1951, decommissioned again on the 31st of May, 1956, stricken on the 15th of April, 1971, sold for scrap on the 10th of April, 1972, and was scrapped in September of 1972. Baltimore did the usual tasks an American heavy cruiser did in the Second World War. Here are her more interesting exploits. Provided fire support for the invasion of Buta Ratari, aka Makan Island, Kawajalin Atoll, Truck Atoll, Anawitak Atoll, the Marianas, Pelu, Yap, Uliti, Walai, Hollandia, Truck, Sadawan, Ponape, Marcus Island, Wake Island, Saipan, and the Battle of the Philippine Sea. Had President FDR aboard, traveling to Pearl Harbor, where she later met with Admiral Chester Nimitz and General Douglas MacArthur. It's falsely claimed to have been sunk by the North Koreans during the Korean War, when Baltimore wasn't even present in the Far East Theater until 1955. The battle actually involved USS Juno, HMS Black Swan, and HMS Jamaica, all of whom destroyed multiple North Korean torpedo boats without any loss of damage. In her character art drawn by Feng Zi, Baltimore wears a tight-fitting black sports bra underneath a white tunic that's mostly unzippered, black thigh highs with garter belts, no visible panties, steel shoes, white gloves, metal neck guard, and a hooded naval blue coat with lime green interior with the coat having Baltimore twice, CA-68 USS, and 68 USS on various parts or straps of the coat. Her rigging consists of two large armatures to her left and right, both of which are attached to arms located at the base of her back. Both armatures are sword-like in shape, with the one to the right having one triple-barrel naval cannon, a grip which Baltimore holds onto, and an anchor chain. While well, the one to her left has two triple barrel naval cannons, two AA guns, a black deck, a 68 on the deck, and a lens flare. Baltimore Muse's character art is drawn by B. Luzi, with Baltimore Muse wearing a white button up shoulderless crop top with underboob window and orange shirt collar, which has an orange bow, white gloves, a small top hat with orange ribbons, a one eared headset with microphone pleated skirt, thigh straps with a great amount of squish, and white high top boots, with her rigging being similar to her base version, with the guns being more detached from the deck, along with many speakers being present. She also stands on a stage in space. In their voice lines, voiced by Minami Takahashi, who also voices Asuka and Biako in Log Horizon, Noburito in Defrag, Tion Hirute in Don Machi, Ojo in Galko-chan, Theresa von Austria in ReZero, Elf Yamada in Aramanga Sensei, Teru Oshi in Hitori Bochi, Lilith in Demon Girl Next Door, Helene Robert in Birdie Wing, Sarah in RPG Real Estate, Ayami Sasaki in Komi-san, Beatrix Amerhauser in Zom 100, Perry in Fire Emblem, Diola in Grand Blue Fantasy, and Wishlash and Arknights, base Baltimore truly cares for the commander while Baltimore Muse is getting used to being an idol. Yeah,助けを求めてるのはあんたか。私はボルチモア。通りすがりの従順用官だ。と冗談はここまでにして、ボルチモア着任した。指揮官、よろしく。さて。
永久に愛を捧げることを誓おうあえっとな指輪をつけた後はあななんだちょっと何をするできることすべきことそして実際にすること取捨選択が必要だ指揮官は一番うまくできることに集中すればいい指揮官怪我はないか仕事はきっちりこなしてみせるさま指揮官の部下として当然だなユニオン所属従順洋館ボルチモアだおっと今は戦うための観戦としてだけでなくアイドルも兼任しているなあにやるからには全力を尽くすまでだ私たちの応援よろしく頼むよ戻ってきたかステージは観客がいてこそ輝くものだ順調にみんなも来てくれるといいなこうしてこう、はあ、ああ新曲の振り付けを考えているんだ自分だけでなく他のメンバーでも踊れるようにしないとなこかわいい路線は私にはちょっとべ別に嫌じゃないぞあんたがそう言うのならう,うん通りすがりのアイドルはちょっとおかしいなまあいい行くぞ At level 125 with max affinity and enhancements, Baltimore has 4,697 HP, 274 firepower, 266 AA, 186 reload, 59 evasion, medium armor, 26 speed, 139 accuracy, 56 luck, and consumes 12 oil. Baltimore Muse, at level 125 with max affinity and enhancements, has 4,753 HP, 265 firepower, 257 AA, 180 reload, 59 evasion, medium armor, 26 speed, 139 accuracy, 56 luck, and consumes 11 oil. Baltimore and Baltimore Muse both have two skills and an AOA, with both having skills that focus on changing their current ammo type and buffing other ships. Baltimore's first skill, Absolute Ammunition, at level 10, changes Baltimore's current ammo type of her main guns to special AP, which does 85, 120, and 85 damage to light, medium, and heavy armor, respectively. At level 8 and higher, each special AP shell has a 3.5% chance to inflict armor break to enemies with heavy armor for 6 seconds. For second skill, Adaptive Tactics, at level 10, when Baltimore is sorted with at least one Eagle Union aircraft carrier, the entire fleet gets plus 7% AA, while the Eagle Union carriers get plus 15% aviation. If there are no Eagle Union carriers in the same fleet as Baltimore, she gets plus 12% firepower and plus 15% evasion. Her AOA looks like this, and is proc'd every 8 times her main gun is fired. Its spread is alright, but it can pierce once since it's AP and it has main gun plus one. Baltimore Muse's first skill, Armor Piercing Hypercharge, at level 10 and at the start of battle, and with a 70% chance every 20 seconds after that, Baltimore Muse's main gun ammo will change to special HE. That does 100, 110, and 120 damage to light, medium, and And heavy armor, respectively, with the shell's speed being set to 180 for 10 seconds. Her second skill, Blazing Choreography, at level 10 and at the start of battle, if there's a carrier or a Muse ship in the same fleet as Baltimore Muse, she gets plus 15% evasion, and the ships in the Vanguard fleet get plus 15% AA. Her AOA looks like this, and is progged every 8 times she fires her main guns. Spread is okay on it, but the speed at which the shells travel is great. The recommended equipment for both Baltimore and Baltimore Muse is the prototype Triple 203mm SKC for the best armor piercing heavy cruiser gun, the twin 100mm Type 98 Kai HAGM for the best general use auxiliary destroyer gun, the twin 57mm L60 Bofors for the best general use AA gun. 
the repair toolkit for more survivability and the ability to passively heal, the high perf steering gear for a buff to evasion and the chance to dodge all attacks, and the greatsword for a buff to firepower and the chance to do a slash attack. Starting with Baltimore, she's honestly an all-around great ship, especially for an Eagle Union carrier-focused fleet. Decent stats all around, can tank a few hits, but not to the point of being an actual tank, or maybe even off-tank. With her S1 changing her shells to a special AP that can inflict armor break at higher levels, her S2 buffs either Eagle Union carriers and the entire fleet, or just herself, depending on the presence of the carriers, and her AOA can pierce and has a main gun plus one. Most importantly, her character art. Like, goddamn, it's amazing. Anyways, for Baltimore Muse, she's very much the same as Baltimore, with some of her stats being a bit higher, maybe a bit lower than base Baltimore. Instead of going for AP with her S1, she instead goes for special HE, and still buffs other ships in the same fleet as her, specifically carriers, and is more defensively focused than offensively focused like base Baltimore, buffing evasion and AA. Her shells from her S1 and AOA also fly out at very fast speeds. I can't really think of any downsides for either of them outside of don't use them for tanking and try to sortie them with carriers if you want to make the best out of their skills. Baltimore has high priority to build, Baltimore Muse medium to maybe medium high. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter and Blue Sky for updates, and please check out my other Arknights and Girls Frontline videos as well.